Hi, we're Group 1 and this is our water energy nexus. Our water distribution system consists of a three-phase system. First, it starts at the water treatment plant, then it is pumped to a storage container, and then it is pulled by gravity down into the residential area. Our home location is in the Red Road general area on the west side of El Paso, Texas. The water treatment plant that provides water to this area is the Upper Valley Water Treatment Plant. After the water has been used in this residential area, most of the water is pumped back into the El Paso system, meaning it flows back into the wastewater collection system and also into the rivers. The way we analyzed our case is we took a monthly bill and we broke it down into different parts including the cost that it takes to treat the water for this household in one month, which is $18.69. Also, we calculated for the energy it costs to take from the water treatment plant to the residence at a pump efficiency of 40%, which is an assumption. We calculated that it took almost 1 million joules per kilogram of energy to pump it. We also calculated the energy it takes to make the water flow from the faucet inside of the residence. The energy it needs is 274 joules per kilogram. In conclusion, we calculated that it takes about $9.15 to provide water to this home per month. We also discovered that if we were to compare our water consumption to a beverage marketing corporation cost, our bill would increase substantially every month from $81.32 to $16,291.44. Most of our calculations came from the energy conservation equations, including the Bernoulli equations. Also, our water conservation methods include two suggestions that we developed as a group. Our first water conservation method would be to replace shower heads with a low flow device. This can decrease the cost of water per month in any residence by up to 50%. The second suggestion would be to place 17 fluid ounce water bottles inside of a toilet tank this would also provide a decrease in monthly expenses by about 900 gallons a year. Altogether, we discovered that there are many multiple methods for water conservation, which aren't always the best, but they do assist in lowering your monthly water bill by some degree. In conclusion, we believe that in order to achieve the highest water conservation rates, we must educate our city and our future generation on how to efficiently conserve water in their city.